Silverfish Swarm, activate. End them all. Please, get in there, get in there. Let's go, get in there. Here, I'll punch some. Ow, 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 ow. We are finally back in the summoner world. I know it's been a long time, but if you actually read like pinned comments or like follow any of my streams or watch any of my streams, you know that I'd say the episodes, they're gonna probably be a while before each one comes out because I wanna make these episodes an hour long, like pack full of content. And also I've been streaming. I streamed this like four times on Twitch, like three to four hour long streams because you know what I've been doing? If you haven't been watching the streams, you haven't been seeing what I've been grinding on. And that is finally getting a master one. Now, the goal was to just get an advanced one because I had a lot of advanced spells. But instead, I found a wizard selling a master one. And if you get a master one, you can just skip advance. You don't have to do all that. And now we literally have every single spell open to us. As you can see, look what we got. If you weren't on the stream, this is definitely new to you. Summon Lightning Wraith, Silverfish Swarm, Summon Spirit Horse, Earth Golemancy, Radiant Totem. Like, these are some good ass spells here. I'll show them off right now. I probably need to find some good enemies to fight. I, I, I don't know where to go. The Nether? I don't know. I want to fight something. All right, perfect right here. We got some pillar just shooting at me. Let's switch to, uh, let's do Silverfish Swarm. Now, watch this. Ready? If I could actually get up here. Silverfish Swarm, activate. What do you think it does? It summons a swarm of silverfish. This is our, like, first group summon. Our first group summon, it's not the strongest, but at the same time, like, it's not too bad either. It's a lot of summons. It's a lot for one enemy to handle, so that would be useful there. Oh, what a great chest. There's a big worm over there. I don't know if I want to fight that thing. I feel like that thing can kill me. But yeah, other than that, we got the spirit horse. Obviously, a spirit horse, if you summon it in, it's, it's a spirit horse. That's it. <laughs> we got a little to-go horse if we want to run around anywhere real quickly. But I still have the agility spell, which probably still better so i'll probably just use this but we have that horse option if we need it all right we also have this right here earth golemancy now this earth golemancy spell is affected by other spells or other uh accessories is what i should say there's a bunch of accessories here that affect it for example this one summon a sturdy obsidian golem with earth golemancy say if i'm wearing this this spell turns into an obsidian golem but since i have the default spell right now this is all it does it's just a pair of three clay golems. Oh, one of them is a little stupid. But yeah, not too bad of a spell. Uh, I like how it's kind of like multiple spells in one, depending on the accessory you wear. So you got this one, summons a terracotta army. You got this one, sum summons a melon golem that heals us. Very cool spell. After that, we have the lightning wraith. The lightning wraith is a very simple one. It's just a lightning wraith, which is just like an electric blaze. So I guess we'll pull up on an elephant and use the lightning wraith on it. There you go. Beat him up. Beat up the elephant. It's shooting lightning. It's beatboxing. Very cool, right? Yeah, another cool one is the uh, Radiant Totem right here. And what this does is you drop it down. It summons this totem right here in the middle. And there's a radius. And it will... It will heal you and any allies in it. So we can drop this down, you know, summon in our silverfish swarm. And if they're getting hurt, they're going to get healed too. So it's a very, very nice combo we can do. But yeah, like legitimately, I've been spending so long. You can watch all those streams on my Twitch channel. I've been spending so long just looking for certain spells. And that's why like this episode hasn't even started for me to work on. Like I, I, have, I can't start an episode if I got nothing to do in it, right? But yeah, now that we finally have everything and I showed off a bit of the summons there, it is time to get back to it. One of my goals that I want to accomplish, I already accomplished this on the stream, but I had bad spells then. We're going to do better spells now. And that goal is to take on a dragon. Just kidding. A battle tower. We'll start nice and slow. Battle towers, they got good loot. They got a very simple boss to kill. And plus the good loot has diamonds in it. And obviously if we want to upgrade our rat, we need a lot of diamonds. That's one, been one of my side goals too, is trying to get a lot of diamonds. I think I have a good bit now. Also, I made a home. Work in progress, but I made one. Yeah, look at this. We, we have a good bit of diamonds. We're getting up there now, but we still need cheese and stuff to upgrade our rats. We just need a lot of necessities and resources to upgrade our rats. But yeah, let me go ahead. Let me do some organization and we'll go take on a battle tower. All right, I'm out here in a new area. I'm actually at the wizard that sold me the master one. So hopefully that brings some good omens slash good luck here but it is time to face a battle tower now if you guys have watched me play rlcraft you know you can you can take on these battle towers in one of two ways uh one of them being you know start from the bottom go up but come on that's the boring way who does it like that that's how you really waste time right there and then look at the loot at the bottom one too it sucks 
this is how you really do it you get some blocks which i don't have on me right now you go to the top you fight the golem at the top now yeah the tower does collapse once you kill him but really the loot that you need is on the top and second and top floor all the loot below that's kind of eh. So let me go ahead. Let me get some wood here because uh, I forgot to bring blocks. All right, we are coming up to the top here. Uh, hopefully he doesn't trigger before I get up there. Let me see where he's at. Okay, he's right there. All good. Let's break that block. It's raining a little hard. I need to turn that down. Why is it so loud? <laughs> All right, we're going to start with the silverfish swarm. I feel like that just makes sense. Let's do it. What's up, bro? I got my homies. We're going to send them in. And then we're going to summon in a Radiant Totem, of course. What else can we spawn in here? Let's do Earth Golemancy. That might help out a lot. As you see, it does take a while to, like, summon everything in. But there you go. Okay, while all that's going down, are the are they fighting each other? Are the Silverfish fighting each other? Are the Golems and the Silverfish fighting each other? I'm going to summon in a Lightning Wraith. I don't know, like, what's the best that I have right now. But, you know, the more the merrier, I feel like. So just summon in a bunch and just hope they do good. I can switch to my other staff, you know. Bring in the OG boys, you know, might as well. We can. I literally can, so might as well. I'm noticing that some mobs are starting to come from the other floor. We don't want that. Where'd he go? Did he just drop down a floor? Alright. I will summon in my silverfish. Hopefully they go down there. Go down there. Go fight them. If they don't feel like going down there, I'll summon in the other mobs. I can't open this chest. That's one thing about the golem. If he's too close, he won't let you open the chest up. It's kind of annoying. Yeah, he's not too bad of a boss. Obviously, it's a little bit different since I'm a summoner. But uh, even then, he's still not too bad. Okay. Well, I'm not going to die, but that's kind of annoying. I got to run back up. I think he does regen if you're far away from him. We're just going to run back up. No problem here. What's up? It's not RL craft. I don't have to worry about getting, you know, one tap headshotted. All right. What's up? Damn, what's going on up here? Okay, there you go. The golem died. Excuse me, everybody. Uh, get out of the way, please. I need to go ahead and just grab all the loot since I'm here. The tower will start collapsing. That just happens uh, once you kill the golem. Ow. It's all good. We're here to grab the loot at the top. That's all that matters. All right, we're home. Let's see the hall of here, okay? Let's see the hall. We got nine diamonds. Okay, that really wasn't that much. But still, you know, it's not that hard to do. Uh, I did bring these guys with me, but I didn't really use them there. If you guys want to see if they work or not, you know, we did get them working. Shout out to everyone in the comments that helped. Look at that. Boom, bada, bing. The boys. What's up? And then we just right click on them again. Boom, they turn back into mask. Very cool. Now, I was thinking about it. There was one more. Where'd the other one go? Uh, I was thinking about it. If we go to one of those villages and we set up like a mob trap or a sort of farm of some sort, you know, the same thing you would do for like a spawner. But think about it instead of a spawner, like a pillager tower. Because, you know, people do farms with pillager towers because pillagers spawn all over. What if we were to do that with one of the tribes? We got one over here. This is a really small one. But what if we were to do that with one of the tribes? Would that be possible? I've also been told that like the big dude, the boss, he spawns in tribe members when he gets low so like hmm, maybe maybe you know i usually don't even do like mob trap stuff like that or anything redstone related in minecraft you know i'm more of an adventure type player in minecraft I like to explore and stuff build a little bit too so like that stuff i would need some help on that stuff because i literally don't do it ever and then when i do do it i mess it up because i have no idea what i'm doing so i don't know maybe you guys gotta help me on that one because that would be a nice way to get a little uh, mask farm going and we got more masks that means we could send in more boys to help us out yeah other than that if we look at my accessories here i do have an obsidian shield which uh you know if you play terraria you know exactly what that does uh pretty much gives me fire immunity in terms of uh dragons so like a dragon can't burn us i don't know if we should fight a dragon uh, i really don't know but i do have an idea of what i want to do next and that is take over an ant farm i want to take over a ant farm or not an ant farm take over an ant nest because look at this there's these things we can get legendary weapon uh we need eggs hardened desert miramex resin uh we get that either or works and we make literally a summoner one summons five miramex swarmers that will defend you for 30 seconds single use only so you can use it once and then after everything dies you can use it again can't just like spam in swarms but i think that should be our next goal here now i really don't know how we're gonna go about doing this i think we just have to kill a nest and then rinse and repeat 
until we get enough to tame a nest because you can tame nests you have to trade them the resin and they'll become your friends but to get resin you know you gotta slaughter into a whole other nest so i think that's what we're gonna do uh, i think this one should be a good one unless this dragon's a problem so let me make my way over there i'm not gonna lie i'm a little scared to go in here because the uh mirmexes they're a little scary they're a little scary there's a worm right here so uh let's let's be a little cautious you see that building right there that's a good loot building right there we were looting that a lot on stream but yeah uh oh there's is that the queen right down there oh god you see how fast these dudes are coming up not exactly too hyped to fight these guys but uh i will try my best here okay you see how like fast they get to us i don't even have golden apples on me anymore they also kind of just like ignore what i'm spawning in which is uh you know makes them a little bit scarier to fight i'm not gonna lie but there you go i got some some units down hopefully the units help out i might need to do another uh silverfish swarm here the only problem is i need to stand still for a little bit to do a uh, silverfish swarm there you go come on boys help me out here end them all please i still don't have like top tier summons we can get even stronger summons obviously but uh, right now this is what we're dealing with the, they'll work for now but I, I do really need to get some better ones it's kind of annoying that you know i finally get the ability to summon in different summons but they're still weak <laughs> i also don't like how the silverfish and the golems are fighting like what the hell what's going on with that golems fight the big giant ant trying to kill me please these might be the worst summons yet are these golems do i need to get hit oh my god they need summon of course like the ants are kind of tanky bro I know these are just silverfish, but like, look at the health of the ant. Oh my god. And they have armor? That's tough. That's really tough right there. Alright, that was just three, like, regular ants. There's stronger variants in there. And then there's also the queen. So I'm not exactly liking our chances. <laughs> we need some more upgrades. It's always, like, comes down to the upgrades, huh? You see those ones? Those are, like, the ones we saw flying at the beginning of the series. I don't know if I can handle those ones. I'll be a little bit honest here. I'm kind of scared to even go in here. You know what? We got this uh, wormhole potion. I'm going to use it if I really need to. All right, boys. Can you do something to them? Go attack them. Go get them. What the hell? There you go. Go get them, boys. I'll leave y'all to it. You guys got it. I will here. I'll keep on sending people down. How about that? Oh, we got a regular one coming up here. Now, there is like a stronger one that legit like picks you up and grabs you. That one's a little terrifying. I'm not going to lie. They're all a little terrifying. They're giant ants. Like, they, that's pretty scary. <laughs> we are getting resin, though. We want to make sure we get our hands on this resin. Hold up. Hold up. Let me get down here for you guys. I got to punch another one and run. Hey, don't push me into it. Come on now. I don't know if the rats would be good for this. Again, I don't really want to use my singular rat that I have. I don't have any other rats upgrade but the one. And I kind of don't want that rat to die. Oh, God. They're, they're getting a little close. I don't like that. My my advantage right now is numbers and height. They're, they're trying to take away the height advantage. You guys want to get in there? Come on. Get in there. Get in there. Let's go. Get in there. Here, I'll punch some. Ow, 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 ow. Almost died right there. It's all good. Even if we did die, it's all good. Come on, join in, everybody. We're bullying the ants today. Join in. Let me get some uh, air. Oh, you guys got them. Nice. Make sure I'm getting this uh, resin. Oh, shit. We got another one trying to come out here. Trying to sneak up on me. Get him. I do really like this silverfish army. This silverfish army has been so good to me. All right. How did everything else go? Oh, I don't know what's going on down there. I think there might be some mating. The queen actually might be in that group. I don't know if I really want to mess with that. Hey, you guys killed it. Nice. I don't know where the drops are. Oh, I got them, I think. But beautiful. I think that's uh, good enough for now. I might need to come back with some uh, stronger forces or something. I don't know. I do have a couple spells that I haven't tested out yet. So uh, we can do that. All right, let's see here. We got a good bit of new spells. Boom. Let's just throw all these on here. I don't care. Hopefully, at least one of them are summons or something, at least. Something useful, please. That's all I ask for. Just period. Something useful. Period. Let's start with this one. Heart of Healing. So I've been told that once you unlock a spell, you could read the book for it, see what it does. Shoots a healing heart, which restores one heart to living targets and deals one heart damage to undeads. Okay, it's interesting. I don't know if one heart is exactly a lot. Next spell. This one does not work. 
Unless it's on a mob. Okay. Uh, I guess this village will be my test village. See, now you're kind of getting like a like a lore, a backstory. This village, they're going to cause a riot and attack me because I'm the evil wizard that uses them as test subjects. All right. Let's see. Okay. I have no idea what this does. This one. Six cents. Oh, look at that. I can see like people through walls and stuff. Very, very cool. I like that one. Is there anything else to it? Or is that it? Just see nearby creatures through walls? It's cool. It's cool. Next up, this one. You are instantly teleported somewhere, but that's not what the spell does. Boom. Stop teleporting me. I just want to see what the spell does. Oh my god. <laughs> All right, yeah, I have no idea what this one does. I don't know, like, how do you test ones that you don't know? I guess you just gotta get a scroll of identification and identify it like that. Who knows? The ground collapses beneath you. Okay, that's not what it does, though. What does it do? Why does this always happen? I just wanna know what this does. All right, I guess I gotta get the scrolls and identify these ones. All right, as I'm figuring out a bunch of spells here and having my inventory thrown around every time a spell doesn't work correctly, I did find these to conjure armor. I'm naked. Let's see how it works. Wow, look at that. Okay, the armor is actually not too bad either. It's like uh, iron. Cool. What about conjure bow? How does this work? Ah, and do I just get like infinite arrows? This 100% counts as summoning to me. You know, conjuration in Skyrim, I believe that's pretty much just like all summoning is what i would consider in skyrim so i consider that in minecraft too i would love to be able to test this out on something but like why is there like never any mobs near me i don't know what's going on anything like a pig anything i just want to see how much damage this does because i'll conjure in me a bow i'll conjure in me a sword i've just been waiting for our, for us to get our hands on it boom holy did that just one tap a pig or was that just a weak pig i think it was just a weak pig two tap though maybe i didn't charge it up fully let me see right here no, okay, so that was just a weak pig. But conjuring a bow could help us out. The armor, maybe not so much. I could just put on better armor. Speak about that. I do want to upgrade my armor. I want to become damn near invincible. We have some uh, options for armor. We can either just make really strong armor from other mods, or we can make armor from the uh, wizard mod itself. And then that armor directly affects our wands and stuff. For example, we type in necromancy here, boom, we make a warlock set, gives us cooldown, it costs less, uh, costs us mana, or we just make sage robes, costs less overall, extra enchantability. And then there's battle mage, which this is, you know, more defense over uh, cooldown and necromancy costs. So there's some options there, which is really cool. That, or I could be like, hey, let's make some amethyst armor, or hey, let's make some black opal armor, which uh, this is from a mod called Ores Above diamonds so you know it's better than diamond that or i can go hey let's make some some mirmex armor because that's also an option dragon armor is also an option like we got a couple options here i think for now we settle for defense over uh making our summons better because right now we don't even have that good of summons our summons are still really weak that just brings me back into a loop of just looking for items and stuff again which is really fun i love doing that right all right here i am it's days later shoot it might even be weeks later i don't remember when i recorded the last clip but i did stream me clearing out the rest of the ant nest the one over here so all the ants are dead including the queen and i will include the clips from the stream of me doing that and any other interesting clips from that stream i guess uh where is it we have boom look at all this resin beautiful so that means the next desert mirmex hive that we find boom we could tame it or attempt to tame it i don't know it's actually pretty complex how they work kind of but uh if i keep it basic oh here's one over here if i keep it basic you throw them the chunks near the entrance they get the chunks your friends it might take a little bit of chunks but uh, you'll be friends somehow but yeah right now i'm about to go into like a overhaul mode i'm about to just upgrade a bunch of stuff i'm talking about our gear our house i might start setting up like farms and stuff i think i want one of these rooms to be an armory something like that with armor stands gallery with like with trophies and stuff and then i want one room to be like a trading room where i have villagers shoot i might even grab some wizards if that works uh we are playing with 1.12 village so i have no idea how much they work in terms of trading and stuff if they work anything like current day villages i don't think they do but i'll figure it out yeah we might set up like some spawner farms i have the uh 
what is it called apotheosis apotheosis mod is that what it's called i think so yeah so i should be able to pick up monster spawners and stuff i think i need a creeper farm and whatever other farm i can get my hands on because we do have elytras if you're wondering where i got elytras from i don't think i did it in a video i did it during a stream there's a big dungeon and they had some elytras and other good armor in them so like boom we got elytras i need some gunpowder we have a lot of gunpowder right now but yeah i need to make fireworks you know the usual minecraft stuff i think i'm gonna do all of that and then we'll come back so this episode is gonna be a lot of off camera work so maybe it won't be like an hour long episode because there's gonna be so much effort going into the episode behind the scenes that i'll probably just want to get the episode out because i'm planning and big things for the next couple of episodes i think we take on our regular dragon soon we take on the ender dragon soon too and then i'm thinking either hitting up the twilight forest because we can also get a bunch of summons from the twilight forest uh i'm pretty sure we have a mod that literally adds in uh summons from the twilight forest yeah right here it's literally a twilight forest spell pack and we can get a bunch of summons from there so yeah we should do that it's time to get to work look how tall that sugar cane's getting but yeah let's get to work this is how we really oh shit they're coming ah protect me ah that's fucking scary <laughs> my summons you're supposed to protect me i don't feel like you guys are doing that we shoot one you let it come up here we let my army take it on yeah that's right everybody go get him no way he stands a chance against the army oh it's about to be nighttime too perfect I, i'm telling you you better not let him come up here god ah kill the ants are they breeding in front of me what were those hearts i saw Ah, oh, no flight lag spike i'm scared bro because we might run into like the actual scary ones don't let this big bitch disrespect me i gotta put this in the video yeah good job i can't i can't really see her anymore but oh, okay good job oh dang She's throwing out the stinger. I'm hitting her with the uh, optifying shots. Cinematic optifying shots. Oh, there goes my bow. Anybody else want to help out that guy? That was a brave zombie to go take that alone, right? Yeah, boys, get her. Get her, boys, get her. Get in there. Yeah. What that thorax do, queen? All right, here I am many years later. Just kidding. A whole stream later and then some of some uh, grinding. And uh, as you can see here, I got a little farm going. We got a lot of mods here that complement having like spawner farms, dark utilities, apotheosis is that how you say it. And as you can see here, I have made a little creeper farm. There's a lot more than just gunpowder in here. But yeah, I've made a little creeper farm. It's beautiful. It was very simple to make and it's very efficient. I guess it could be a little bit more efficient. But, uh, you know, for me, that's pretty good that's pretty good since especially i don't really make those type of farms ever in minecraft but yeah i guess i should show off a couple more things that i've grinded off camera here or i guess on stream at this point uh we got this right here we did this on stream we got super high on breaking on this elytra so obviously we're gonna be using the elytra a lot the only thing i need to do now is just you know get fireworks i might find a mod that makes it so you can put elytras on breastplates because i'm pretty sure mods like those exist for one 12 so i should be able to find one because that'd be pretty useful but yeah i don't know if i showed this off in any clips either but got a little training farm here but yeah we can finally get back to business very soon let me just finish up the rest of this like elytra farm i'm doing gunpowder farm whatever sugarcane farm and we could get to work on a little bit more progression in this episode because i am trying to finish it so i can post it finally all right it is time to make friends with the ants as you can see i have some beautiful serpent armor sea serpent armor watch this stream if you're wondering where i got it probably post them on my second channel i'm trying to bring the second channel back to life eventually it's just i actually make thumbnails separate most of the time separate from the main channel thumbnails for the second channel and uh you know it takes a while doing something like that yeah we have to find another serpent nest here or not serpent nest another ant nest there's one over here that wouldn't be too bad the problem is there's a dragon but uh still wouldn't be too bad is there any other ones maybe i could just go to a completely different area oh there's a bunch over here holy okay maybe i go over here then we have the power to fly can i put the elytra on my back okay it does not seem like we can i try to 
to find a mod where I could do that. You know, it's we'll, we'll just we'll just keep it like this. I think I did find a mod that allows me to put the uh, elytra on any chest plate, but I needed to install another mod, and I kind of didn't want to do that. I don't know. I feel like my mod pack's been crashing recently when I've been exploring. Maybe just a lot of data, but uh, you know, I want to be a little bit careful when installing new mods sometimes. But I probably will end up doing that. But for now, it's fine. Let's just head on over here. So I heard a good strategy was. Well, hold up. Actually, I need to grab some blocks. A good strategy was to just put a bunch of uh, resin just by the entrance. And I didn't bring my whole stack because I'm honestly kind of scared to bring my whole stack because like, what if it just doesn't work and then I lose my whole stack? That means I have to kill more ants, which honestly won't be a problem because there's a lot of them over here. Oh, I should be careful. Get away from the dragons. The dragons will be dying soon, I promise. Well, hopefully, I don't know. We'll see. But yeah, where are we? Are we close to one? Okay, we are close to one. There is one straight ahead over here. I think this one will be our go-to. Uh, there's actually a wizard thing I haven't done right here. That's very nice. Boom, it's on top of the hill. That's actually really nice. That's very nice. Okay, hold up, hold up. Let me land. Uh, I'm gonna kill this thing over here. I have a uh, ring that I have on here. Hitting a creature with a necromancy wand gives it the wither effect. So if I wanna, you know, aggro my ants, you know, help them aggro in, then I could uh, hit them with the necromancy wand and they, you know, get the little, little debuff on them, little wither effect on them. This armor should be better. The thing is, it is a uh, primarily water armor set. So like, honestly, I don't know if it's the greatest for non-water combat it still should be good but yeah let's summon in our boys here let them do work i feel like the amount of cockatrices are multiplying like we started off fighting two or one and then it turned into two and then it turned into three like can we just get this over with i got stuff i need to get done here okay i'm assuming the third one is dead let's get to it this is important this is important stuff i'm trying to get done boom i'm at the entrance i don't see any ants okay maybe this nest is not a good one i do see like generation in the middle of the nest so that's not really a good sign all right let's go to another one it's fine there's actually a lot of structures i have not seen outside here or seen over here uh there's another wizard thing there's another wizard tower that i probably haven't touched another one i probably haven't touched but that's a really good thing oh here's a lot of ants right here holy okay we got to be careful okay you got to be careful i did install a mod that makes it so i don't have to do like the little jump to activate my elytra you know shoot a, yeah i gotta do that little aqua we're jumping then shoot a firework i added a mod where i shouldn't have to do that all right here we go i should not have to fight any of them i'm gonna just sprinkle these around hopefully we become friends you've raised your reputation with this miramax colony by five beautiful come on everyone get collecting get collecting come on i want to be homies we could be homies i know there's a rival nest maybe that's the same nest but i'm trying to be homies you guys see all this stuff i'm dropping everywhere come on homies for life come on <laughs> There you go. It's going up. Maybe I should just drop it on the small ones. I think I have to drop it on the small ones. The small ones are the ones that collect them. I cannot fight these guys at any cost because that lowers your reputa reputation. Don't want to do that. All right. We are at a nice 60 reputation. It's going good. All right. We're at 75. It says you can now use a Mirmex staff on this colony. Now the Mirmex staff had like a whole wiki page about how it works. You could like make rooms in the colony. You can get rid of rooms in the colony it becomes like sims base builder so we do have to craft it i believe i do have the right stuff to craft it i should desert mirmex stuff yeah i should have all this stuff no problem i want to get it to 100 though let's get it to 100 and then i'll consider myself good to go i'll drop a waypoint here and uh, we could get to work checking out the inside see what else we could do oh that boy got chicken all right i should reach 100 right here he's gonna hit the little turnaround come on i know you want to yeah yeah yeah, yeah i see you and boom a hundred we are max reputation with the colony what's up my boys look at them look at them on the mini map too they're they're gray instead of red which a hundred percent a hundred percent shows that we are friends well not really uh, green would be friends but we are neutral good enough good enough let's make this staff here and then i'm gonna go read on the wiki about what else i could do uh so what did i need i need three of these and then two wither bones and then it was a fang or a stinger perfect bam desert mirmex staff awesome 
let's head inside i'm gonna go ahead and check out the inside i hope you guys don't mind we should 100 percent be homies if stuff starts going down it's gonna be a little bit upsetting i think i could actually trade with them now i think i could trade with them is this the same nest maybe this is the same nest like and it leads up on the uh savannah mountain too are you guys good do you guys keep on walking into like the plants and stuff the queen hello my beautiful queen look i could trade stuff with her and i'll get eggs now that's amazing i want to break these but i don't want to accidentally hurt anyone there you go, I broke one. So you guys won't be fucking floating all the time. <laughs> I will break the other one, don't worry. Just uh, get out of the way. See, look, I don't, I don't want to hit anything. I'm going to need her to float, honestly. Just float again so I could, like, break it. But yeah, you should be able to just, like, right-click on them. And they have trades now. And some of the trades might be good. I have no idea. They're fucking ants. Well, look, we do get more chunks for them. And they only cost, like, regular blocks. So it's honestly not too bad uh we got the big boys we got a worker in the in the raising he's in he's in the growing process good for him we got these guys these are the scary ones they pick you up but we could trade with them look at that that's a pretty cheap trade those are both cheap trades i like that but i think the main trading we want to do is with the queen we do trades with the queen it opens up more stuff and i think eventually we could get a queen directly like a queen egg directly and once that happens we can like have the whole nest under our control something like that which is amazing i definitely want that that's the whole goal we've been working up to so let me do this trade here boom give me that worker egg thank you very much uh we give it a while she gets a little particle effects and opens up a new trade just like villagers let me see this new trade boom a soldier so it keeps on going up and up very nice all right but yeah let me head to the wiki let me see what other little cool things i could do here all right so the real thing we're trying to work to is this summon right here this summon staff we need five eggs i don't think it matters what eggs uh we need hardened desert mimex resin very easy to make and we need a stick very simple all right cool but check this out let's mess around with the uh staff a little bit more here i need to right click on some someone uh presumably presumably a worker are you a worker your soldier they workers i need a worker i think i right click on a worker you no Wait, what was I supposed to shift right click? I have no idea. But like, I could add rooms and stuff if I shift right click. Shot. <laughs> create a food room, create a nursery room, create an entrance. Whoa, this is really cool. What the heck? I want to create more rooms. This actually does have a lot of rooms already. Look at this. We're like half in a cave. Uh, let's go over here and let's create a room. Can I go like this? So if I don't shift right click, oh look. Okay, so we have a lot of rooms already. We have a lot of entrances. What the hell? I didn't even know that they had like bottom entrances this is pretty cool all right well I'll, i want to make a new room i'm gonna create a food room no yes yeah create a food room 46 36 491 that is not where i'm at was that over there i think it's over there i think it's where the ant was you know that's fine you know a food room is a food room they will they will help hey i'm gonna add lights in here i hope you don't get mad it's kind of fucking dark all right but yeah uh i believe we can steal resin from these ants <laughs> Like, they, when they take the resin, they bring it to the cocoons and stuff, and I believe we could just take them back. No reputation loss or anything. Very cool. Look at that. That's literally... We're going to get all my resin back. Are they fighting something? What was that? I heard, I heard, a, I heard a snapping noise. Oh, they're fighting something over here. What y'all fighting? Y'all fighting each other? Y'all got beef with each other? I can see that. That's understandable. Yeah, look. Look. Oh, damn. They're killing the little baby. What did the little baby do? Yeah, this is a tough world they live in, huh? All right, while y'all do that, I, I'm just going to be checking these. Don't worry about me, all right? Oh, damn, there's a goblin. Guys, there's an intruder, intruder in the hive, intruder in the hive. Y'all just going to let him come in here? What the fuck kind of hive am I in? Back at home, I made a couple trades with the uh, queen herself. And uh, I don't know if I have enough resin. I don't know how to get resin other than kill things. So I got to figure that out. But uh, yeah, I bought a couple things from the queen, mainly a bunch of eggs and we're gonna make the one thing that this whole like point of becoming friends with these ants was about and that was this beautiful summon staff now i hope it's good i don't remember at all how good it is we're gonna see i guess we are gonna see i need to find something not exactly hostile i i need to find something let's uh go back to the homie ants here and there's got to be something hostile out here here we go the uh archers in these towers very annoying enemy honestly don't know i don't remember what mod adds them in but like they they could be fleshed out a little bit <laughs> But let's see it in action here. Mirmax Swarm Staff. This is going to mess up the durability of my armor. It's all good. Boom. Go get them, boys. 
Now I'm hoping that like the staff comes back to me or if it's literally a one time use then it would be a little bit upsetting i'm not gonna lie i think it literally is a one-time use is it okay it's uh interesting can you attack the last one please see it does say single use on it but i literally did not know it is used literally once and then it is completely gone i thought single use as in like you can't spam it okay see now that i've discovered that i feel like we kind of wasted a whole episode <laughs> that's that's fine i guess that's fine i think that it's finally time to end this episode off and get it to the public i do want to show off that i did find a new summon uh call of the pack can you guess what it does it's actually really cool i like it it makes all my wolves useless i want to test it on something what can i test on why do i always have troubles finding stuff to test on all right here you go i found a pack of bears two of them call of the pack Look at that, it brings in a bunch of wolves, I think like five of them. Go get them, boys. Go get them. And the damage, actually not too bad. That's good. And I like that they're also brown wolves, that's cool. Changes it up a little bit, boom. Go get the other one. And look at this, I could call on another one, boom. Go help out, boys. Go help out. Beat the hell out of this bear. So it's not a bad summon. I believe it's from one of the add-on mods because I cannot find information about it on the uh, regular mod browser. Or not mod browser. See, I'm thinking about Terraria. But yeah, I'm going to finally end off the episode here. It's been a long time in the making. I'll try and do the next one faster, but no promises. The next one, actually, we will probably have a good goal. Probably the next episode is going to be dragon themed. I'm going to try and kill a dragon. I am going to need better summons for that too, though. So, you know, the, the never-ending hunt for better summons begins again. But it's all good. Because uh, if we do kill the Ender Dragon, that does open up the end towers or the end cities. And I believe the end cities have some good-ass loot. So, like, I'm pretty excited to do that. And then we'll also probably try and kill a regular dragon. Because a regular dragon's always been a goal to kill. Because they're kind of like the titans in this series. You know? They're at first very hard to kill. But then, like, they're gonna become bitches once we get into a rhythm of it. Just like RL Craft. So, uh, that's, that's what the goal is for next episode. I'll see y'all then. Thank you for patiently waiting for this episode. I'm probably on vacation. Or I'm probably about to go on vacation to Disneyland. Whenever this comes out. So, uh, if there's no video from like the 29th to august this will probably come out before probably yeah thank you for watching bye bye bye, bye.